Now I'm even and like incredibly close up. So this is what we're dealing with today. <laughs> Hi witchlings, welcome back to my channel. It is me, your local chaotic witch haunt. I did glamour magic for 30 days and this is what happened. I originally started this as, and I was open on Instagram, I said, I wanna do this. I wanna challenge myself to do glamour magic for a full month. I was having some issues with confidence. I wasn't feeling like myself. And oh boy, did this shit work. <laughs> so I will send some pictures to my editor of some of my uh, outfits that I did, but the main source that I did for the glamour magic was just kind of like putting more effort into my outfits, using color magic, um, kind of choosing, ooh, cracked my knuckles, choosing things and outfits that either made me comfortable and centered a piece I really liked and by piece I mean like a piece of clothing or went outside my comfort zone with it a little bit. And I faltered towards the end because I think officially now it's almost over but I noticed that even when I wasn't putting that same amount of effort into my particular outfits and my glamour I was still feeling good about myself which is like nuts <laughs> other really strange things happened um, my acne cleared up which is a little weird I started this this month with like a horrendous breakout awful. Um, I hated it and I was like very embarrassed of it to the point where, well not embarrassed, but I, I, it made me like so uncomfortable and upset and insecure that I started putting like the makeup filter on on TikTok, which like I never do. And now, like I still got a little bit going on, but it's a lot better than it was at the beginning of the month and you can even go back through my YouTube videos and see kind of the progression. Um, I wasn't expecting that, I think primarily because I didn't center my glamour around my skin. But I think part of it was I was putting so much effort into the way I looked and taking care of myself and feeling good that it kind of was almost like a byproduct of it, which is weird to say out loud, but that is what happened. I also gained a lot more confidence, I think, spiritually and physically. I am a little bit more aware of what outfits make me feel good and look good than I think I was before, um, which sounds weird once again when I say it out loud, but I've been putting so much more time and energy into it that I'm kind of sitting here like, what? I noticed that I was a lot more confident in my spell work. I was more ready to do spells that I think before scared the shit out of me. I did a run double run working and I totally wasn't expecting it to go okay. Because I literally talked to my friends and they were like, it's kind of gonna fuck you up. And I'm like, oh great. I, and at the beginning of the month, I didn't have the emotional capacity for it. And at the end of the month, I did it. It was a full seven day working. And I came out of the other side very happy that I did do it. And that confidence to do it was almost like a push from the glamour, but also a push from just like weird week. I had some weird weeks. And even when I was in a place where my routine was disrupted, I did some cat sitting, I felt out of place. I felt not like myself. I didn't have access to my materials. That glamour kind of grounded me and centered me to myself. I was spending a lot more time looking at my body, figuring out what I liked, what made me feel comfortable. I was spending more time putting energy into what I wanted to look like and what I wanted to emit in the morning. There were some days where I was like, you know what, I wanna feel like a bad bitch today. So I threw on like black turtleneck, red pants, and a little corset belt. And there were other days where my body was in pain, so I centered comfort and things that made me feel comfortable. And that kind of attention to myself and to my body was not something that I necessarily had before. Like I had it, but I wasn't paying enough attention and centering my magic around it. And that was kind of a stepping stone for me in a lot of ways into more confident magic and at a point where I was confident that I would be able to do things that I didn't feel confident enough before. 
it is such a strange thing looking at like a month ago and I contribute this to like not only working glamour almost every day of this month but also taking pictures of it, documenting my progress, documenting how my style kind of shifted through that month period as well as that kind of paying more attention to what I wanted in those glamour, in that glamour. And yeah, and so just for a little detail for glamour and what it is, it's complicated because I think the best book that I know on it is like Magical Fashionista, but glamour magic is, I guess when people boil it down, it almost sounds like you put makeup on and it's pretty, but glamour is for so many things. You can do glamour for confidence, for protection. It's a whole form of magic. Um, I'm gonna pull up what glamour is. When we see glam magic, T teen vogue glamour magic it's very much that kind of a lot of people love it because it's a focus on the appearance but to me it's a lot more than that cannot change your physical appearance or bend other people's will when we think about that we think like chilling adventures of sabrina practical magic not practical magic the craft um where the hair color changes and the eye color changes and you know, Sabrina changes it. It's a subtle form in mag of magic in which you can shift how others see you. Confidence gained through this form of sorcery. A way to be a better you so that you look like one on the outside too. Once you believe in yourself, others will too. Is that a rhyme? So there's like power, uh, color, scent, bath magic, mirror magic, crystals, minerals, charms. I focus primarily on color magic and I didn't necessarily want to focus on how others saw me but I wanted to focus on how I saw myself. Um, so I chose things that would put me a little bit outside my comfort zone or maybe make me feel a little bit more confident or comfortable depending on the day and what I was feeling, how my body was, what was going on in my life. There were some days where I'm like, you know what, I'm just gonna wear a sweatshirt and be comfy and not think about this today, and that's fine. When I did my Run Devil Run working, which I would love to make a whole video talking about that, <laughs> the Run Devil Run working through me put me through the five stages of fucking grief. I kind of fell off a little bit because I was so stressed and so busy, and so even when I was trying to do glamour, it kind of felt a little off, so I subconsciously think that I started focusing a lot on protection that week. And then even then I was focusing more, putting more energy into my skincare, keeping a routine. My skin thanks me. Boop, boop, boop. I'd love to talk about a Get Ready With Me Glamour Magic Edition thing for YouTube, because it's fun. But within these 30 days, I think I my goal was to you know, be more comfortable in my body and more confident and feel better about what I was wearing and I do think that I accomplished that. I also just had some things that I wasn't expecting to happen like my skin clearing up or feeling more protected, more sure of myself and also noticing that other people were picking up on that as well. And it was weird because I totally didn't didn't like try to get other people to notice that, but that's what ended up happening. It's almost like a fake it till you make it. That's how I see glamour magic. <laughs> and while glamour is also done for protection, for confidence, for all these things, I'm like, it's a fake it till you make it confidence. You're just kind of sitting there and like trying to get shit to work. That sounds really bad when I say it out loud. Um, but I did post about the challenge on Instagram and I liked it so much that I think that I will continue to incorporate the glamour magic into my outfits, into my daily routine because of how much I liked myself while doing it. How confident I felt and how how much there was there that I was like, wow, I feel good today. Like, you put on a corset belt and a pair of red pants and tell me you don't feel like a boss ass bitch. Cause I did. It was such a strange experience and I think because of it, because it didn't, it didn't turn out exactly the way I thought it would. And I think that's the best part of spell, spells and magic is that I incorporated this and started this with a specific goal in mind and I ended up on a completely like different place, which I'm okay with. But it hit me with like a, there was a lot of like internal things that I had to face about myself when I was working with the outside version of myself and the glamour, I was dealing with inward things, shadow work, frustration with certain things that I was doing. 
and I was just sitting there like, you know, this is not what I wanted, but I'm not angry about it. <laughs> and I think that's the best part about magic is you can go in with a complete intention, complete goal in mind. You have an idea, an expectation of how something is going to go and you come out on the other side like that is not at all how I expected that was going to go, but I'm not angry about it. Kind of sitting here like, oh, it makes sense how this turned out when I did magic every day for 30 days and although it was a subtle magic, but there was a lot more that was brought to the surface and dealt with and worked through than I think I was expecting. I was expecting to come out and be like, mm, I feel more confident. And I was like, wow, we're dealing with like all of this in inner shadow work, in therapy and all these places in my day to day life, all of these things that I have to face about myself in order to actually get to that confidence, that goal that I want. And I was like, Haha, that's not what I wanted, but at the end of the day, I'm not upset with being here because I think it did, you know, there's just completely different goal in mind than I expected and I'm okay with it. Which is weird, you have to get to a certain point in your witchcraft journey to go into a spell with a specific intention in mind and then have it be flipped around and end up somewhere else, but you realize that where it ended up was for the better. Does that make sense? I think it does. Because, you know, at the beginning of my craft, I would have been like, this didn't go the way I wanted. This isn't what I wanted. Without being able to see that I'm in a better place than I would have been if my intention had stuck 100% with that goal that I had in mind when I started and that expectation I had. And I, throughout that glamour magic, I was almost confident enough in myself to say, you know what, this doesn't seem like it's gonna be exactly <laughs> what I had in mind but that's okay, let's just kind of roll with it. And I think that routine, that confidence that I instilled into myself and that focus on myself helps me to be like, you know what, let's just go with the flow, this is gonna be okay. My ancestors have it in mind, the universe has it in mind, and this is gonna take me somewhere that is better than what I originally thought. And that's the craziest thing about it. <laughs> I was like, man, all right, we don't know why we're here, but we're here. This is gonna be a shorter video. Okay, I think I'll actually talk a little bit about what my glamour magic looked like. So I started this challenge on January 30th and I started with very simple things, um, like a mushroom sweater and red pants. And so what I did with that is for the first week, in each picture there is like something that stands out, a pattern, a color. I tended, I focused everything on red. And this was one of those things where I think that subconsciously that red was to me was like it was protection and even though these colors were really really bold they felt nice wearing them so it was like a patterned sweater and red pants a mushroom sweater and red pants tie-dye things that i usually wouldn't wear in my outfits but i incorporated them into each day and i ended up really liking the result in the next week i some i centered the glamour magic around something that pushed me outside my comfort zone so i worked with a corset and stripes on the first day and then i did like that tie-dye shirt again and then i did a lot of layering things that kind of mismatched but i want i worked them together in a specific way and then i focused on comfort boundaries things that i liked that made me me feel good so it was a lot of sweaters because <laughs> I am so I love sweaters and each sweater was like plaid or matched with certain earrings or a hat or a veil I did wear head coverings this entire week and that's what part of the comfort that was there and then I worked more with patterns and colors so you, there was a lot of red that I worked with there was a lot of stripes that I worked with <laughs> a lot of stripes and each day was like kind of a base, almost like a base color. So one of the days it was like red with a pattern over and then black and red and then, you know, blue and blue again. And that's how I worked through those next few days. And then I don't have any pictures past that because I did fall off a little bit about it. I stopped taking pictures and I just kind of had it for me. And I think that was the part that I really enjoyed because I was then centering my outfits around pieces I really like. I had, you know, an anniversary with my partner where I was wearing comfort things. Lots of solid colors, uh, layering. Um, if I did do stripes, I was typically wearing one stripe thing. I kind of fell into this is what I want to wear and this is my comfort. 
and I started centering the pieces more around almost like my earrings. <laughs> I'm wearing boba tea earrings today. I wanted to make the earrings almost the statement and uh, my jewelry was charmed and then so I went from focusing on outfits to focusing on these one like these accessories that I really enjoyed which I thought was an interesting shift because I totally wasn't expecting it and there were definitely a few days towards the end where I woke up hated my freaking outfit so much and sat there like this is awful and then somehow I ended up back on track which is weird to say I ended up somewhere that I liked again and so I'll have my editor put in a few of these pieces but I did think that it was really interesting how what I was focusing on and how I was creating the outfits shifted a little from like very intentional pushing outside my comfort zone certain colors certain patterns into okay this is like what I'm comfortable with and this is how I want to express myself with earrings with colors with patterns with very nice sweaters like my sweater I'm wearing today is my favorite it fits very well. It's also vintage and wool. But I paired this with like a white turtleneck and some blue jeans and I'm having a great day. And little boba tea earrings. Eeny beeny. Love them. But I, I began to be a little bit more comfortable with myself and as I did I put less intention into my glamour and more intention into what I wanted. I don't know if that makes sense but it was such an interesting process and an interesting I guess experiment and I kind of want to continue doing it and see where it ends, ends up. Continue planning my outfits, laying things out the night before, putting that intention into how I want to present myself for the next day. Who knows, maybe I'll like become a fashion influencer. That's really doubtful. I don't like people, I very much look like a grandpa. But it is interesting the way that it ended up and where I ended up and the goal. But if you have are interested in doing this kind of challenge, I talked about it a lot on my Instagram, which is Chaotic Witch On. I'm sure that I will share the experience on my podcast and have that conversation. We have a new 101 series that's going to be coming out soon. A new episode just dropped with Juliet Diaz talking about the altar within came out yesterday. So you can find that on Spotify, Anchor, or Apple Podcasts. And apart from that, that is all I have for you guys today. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your week. Um, if you want, you can like, subscribe, turn the bell on, but no pressure. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Sa benedica.